Assalamu alaikum and welcome. This video is about data loading on Azure SQL database. So here I will be using my local SQL management studio 2014 for loading my database into SQL uh, database on Azure. Connect your SQL Server Management Studio with your Azure SQL database. Provide your server information, your login, your password and then click connect. You will notice that there will be an error that describes that your remote server is not allowed to be accessed. So you need to do some firewall configuration setting on your Azure SQL database. Now go to your Azure portal and open your SQL database. Click on your SQL database server which you are trying to connect through your local SQL Server Management Studio. Click the firewall setting option and then click add client IP. This will add your uh, Azure SQL database IP to be accessible remotely. So now save your setting and then go back to your SQL Server Management Studio and then click connect. So now you're connected to your Azure SQL database. Now I have a CSV file of my data and uh, to import that CSV file I simply, simply go to my start menu and then search for SQL import feature and then click that option and then click next and uh, select your source from where you want to load your data. Since I have data in my CSV file so I will choose flat file option here and uh, provide some basic setting uh, to your uh, flat file since it's a CSV file so I, I just uh, let these option as it is and uh, the first line in my data file is column name so I check that box now click next and then choose your destination source which is in my case it will be uh, SQL Server Management Studio so I'll select SQL Server client and then I click next then I provide my username and password and then I will select the database in which I will going to import my database then click next and you can preview your data click next and then click uh, finish now the data has been imported successfully and uh, let's verify that on sql server so go back to azure sql database and then connect to your query editor you will see on your right menu that there there are tables option my data has been successfully imported to a default table name iris and i can also verify that through my select query and so you can see my data has been successfully loaded into azure sql database that's about it thanks for watching